I don't know what your Saturday or Sunday is going to be like, whether it's busy, lots of things you've got on to do, or whether it may, maybe whether it's relatively quiet. Or maybe as we begin this weekend, it's worth committing ourselves first to come into God's presence and to hold before him the whole of whatever we're doing this weekend. And so as we begin the weekend, so we come to God with it as we pray now. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. And so we're looking at Luke 22, the Passover meal, and we're going to go back to verse 17. After taking the cup, Jesus gave thanks and said, Take this and divide it among you. For I tell you, I will not drink again from the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. And he took bread, gave thanks and broke it and gave it to them, saying, This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is poured out for you. As we've been seeing, there's so much meaning um, going on here. Um, I think one of the things I'd like to draw out this morning is this word covenant. It's an agreement. Um, and in that sense, it's firm. If you think about a banking covenant, it's something you can rely on. Well, if you can rely on your bank, you can even more rely on God. And the wonder is that God will come and bless us, will change our hearts. That's what's prophesied in the Old Testament. Our hearts of stone will become hearts of flesh. And that in his new covenant, we will know God. And that's all made available through the cross. This is not something where God's going to change his mind. It is a new agreement. And God effectively has signed it. And effectively, Jesus has signed it in his blood. This new agreement was purchased for us, not with anything we could pay, but with Jesus's blood. My goodness me. And that is the foundation upon which we stand. We can be clear that we are part of God's family. And so I hope something about the, the firmness of this arrangement will encourage you this morning. A space for our prayers now. And so as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and forevermore. Amen. <laughs>